I bought this twin sensor Casio at my local Walmart for $12. Was it money well spent? Let's find out. Welcome to the Watch Closet. I'm COE33, Co for short. And guys, I think it's safe to say that I'm cuckoo for watches. If you enjoy watch collecting content as much as I do, help me grow this channel and appease those algorithm overlords by subscribing and ever so gently polishing that like button. Before we get into the unboxing, let's do a wristwatch check. I'm wearing my 1981 military issued Hamilton Field Watch. Super cool piece on a black leather bun strap. It's got the mechanical hand wind movement and a very legible black dial. Do you guys notice how expensive everything is these days? I filled up my vehicle yesterday and it cost $117. $117 bucks for some lousy regular gasoline. Then I went to lunch and had a $14 burrito and a $16 margarita. I mean, it was a tasty combo, but not $30 tasty. What the hell? So when I saw this twin sensor at my local Walmart, marked down on clearance to $12, I snatched it up and ran out of there like a bandit on the run from the fuzz. All right, unboxing time. Guys, I've been looking forward to unboxing this watch so that I can wear it because this is going to be my first twin sensor watch in the collection. I don't have any pieces that have, um, like, this has a thermometer on it and a compass. Now, I think I do have a compass watch. I take that back. But I do not have a watch that has a thermometer on it. So, yeah, $12, Casio, Walmart. So you got the simple packaging. You've got basically just kind of some flimsy cardboard here, two-piece you got some information on some stickers back here. You have a lid that comes off. Super simple. We don't need that. And then there's the watch right there. Look at that. Clearance sticker, $12. Now, these retail, it does say right here was $48.92, but then right here it says $44.92. So I don't know what the hell they're talking about. I'm pretty sure the, the retail on this was probably $44.92. But nonetheless, marked down to $12. And look at this, guys. $12. That's a pretty cool looking watch. I'm not familiar with this model, but I like it. I kind of like that blue and orange colorway there. And it's a digital compass, thermometer, and it's got 200 meters of water resistance. Not bad. And I love me some Casio. So let's see. Let's get this uh, sticker off of here, shall we? We don't want this on here. Now, it's a little torn. That's unfortunate, but I don't really care about the pack. When it's cheap packaging like this, I'm probably just going to throw away the box, I'd imagine. But we don't need this sticker on here. This ugly yellow sticker. There we go. Get rid of that. Okay, so here we are. So we've got the watch. We have kind of an inner little insert there. And then we have some standard kind of Casio, a little booklet here. And this is probably like warranty information, I'd imagine. Module number 3157, user's guide. Okay, cool. Wow, look at all that. That's some detailed warranty information, huh? But we don't need that. And we don't need this. Okay, so that leaves us with the watch. So let's get this out of here. Is it hooked on? Oh, it's on a little pillow. Very nice. Get this out of there. Okay, we got a little velvet flocked black pillow. How fancy. Look at that. This is a high end right here. Luxury Casio. Okay, and there we are. We got the watch, twin sensor, compass, thermometer. We got the basically the north, west, east, and south markings for the compass around the bezel. We've got a resin strap, water resist, 20 bar. And uh, what do we got here? Oh, look at this a little logo. What logo is that? That's interesting, huh? Not I haven't seen that one before. It's kind of cool though. I like that. Buckle and tang clasp system. Is this metal or plastic? Ah, uh, that is plastic. So that's kind of unfortunate. Plastic tang. I mean, I guess for $12, I shouldn't complain. Although, if I was paying $44.92 and I got a plastic buckle, oh, I don't know about that. That's a little less than ideal, huh? Let's take this off. There's no, like, hang tag or stickers or anything on it. But uh, that's all right. And then what do we got on the back here? Let's see if we can get this to zoom in. Or to focus, I should say. Casio 5 Alarm World Timer. So that's nice. It's got the World Timer. SGW100. That's the model number. Stainless steel back, water resistance 20 bar, made in China. So just some simple information there on the back. And let's look at that dial, shall we? Yeah, this is pretty cool. And it's got a light on here. Now, I imagine the light's going to be kind of hard to see. Yeah, it's too, it's too bright here in the watch closet. 
for that to show up. But it does have a light, and then you can adjust. You got the modes right there. You got the compass setting. So you press that, and then it puts it into the compass mode. So pretty cool. And then you can find out the temperature on here. That's kind of the, the feature I think I'm most interested in is the thermometer. I, I think it's kind of neat to be able to look down at your watch and to be able to see what the temperature outside is. So yeah, it's 142 degrees right now. No. <laughs> it's a hot day, I tell you. Gasoline, $7 a gallon, it's 144 degrees outside. What's the world coming to? All right, this actually wears better than I thought it would. It's got fairly compact dimensions for, it looks huge, but it's got 45 width there, 45 millimeter width, and it's 45.8 lug to lug. That was kind of the dimension I was most concerned about, that lug to lug. I've got a 6.75 inch wrist, and this is very wearable. It's thick, look at that, it's a thick boy, that's for sure. But it wears nice, you know, it's very kind of G-Shock. It's got that kind of sport, kind of outdoor, in your face, big watch vibe to it. But I'm okay with that. I have a Seiko Arnie that I wear all the time that's bigger than this. So I could rock this on my 6.75 inch wrist, no problem. I think all in all, this is a pretty cool piece. I like it. You know what, $12? I'll take this all day long for 12 bucks. Um, What about for $44.92 or wherever it was? Uh, yeah, I still think that's probably a fairly good price. But you know, you guys, if you go to your local Walmart, they're clearancing out Casio all the time. At least they are around where I live. So I bet you could track down a pretty good deal on this if you're interested in it. And uh, yeah, I think I'm happy with my purchase. All right, guys, and with that, that's my unboxing and first impressions of the Twin Sensor Casio. $12 well spent. I'm posting new videos every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can count on that. It's like clockwork. Follow me with my watch collecting adventures over on Instagram, at Cuckoo for Watches. I'm live streaming on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday. Follow me over there for wrist checks and retro gaming at COE33. And if you're enjoying the content, be sure to watch this video of me reacting to the craziest watch commercials on YouTube. And oh boy, there's some weird shit out there. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep your watches wound and your sapphires polished.